Hey YouTube, it's been a while and today I'm uploading a video on Intab and Intab is a pretty cool add-on for your website. So let's dive right in there and understand what's on this website and what could we do to improve the conversion rate. All right, so let's see if we understand what the product is first of all. Style websites faster in and then there's a bunch of logos for browsers. Okay, cool. So that means it's an add-on. Okay, and the call to action here is install extension. It's uh, it's clearly ob obviously available for all of these platforms. And then the subtitle says, visually style any website in any browser without typing CSS. Okay, so here you're basically... Um, it's an, it's interesting because this is this a tool for developers or is this a tool for non-developers or, or for hybrid so people who just want to change the uh, the appearance of their website quickly without having to type CSS because if that's the case then it could be a hybrid thing right where some developers hate CSS and they're like nope I don't want to change thing in the in the console so let's have a look live demo one click one click interesting okay so I'll click this and uh, here we go here we go so now I can select different things on the website so like say this button here and I can change its position okay I can do block flex interesting no changes here obviously uh, can I change the width of this SVG yep okay so basically it's almost like a more easy to use dev tool that's inbuilt in Chrome. Okay, cool. Oh, wow. All right. And then you can reset it and then you close it. And then, okay, let's assume I want to change the background color to yellow. And I'm like, okay, yellow, super yellow. There you go. That didn't work. Okay. Interesting. Uh, how about a border? A border should work, right? So... I want border, I want it to be all across, 20 pixels, color to be yellow. And uh, it just added a border to the body, right? Because I clicked on the body by mistake. Okay, try again. Border, solid, yellow. And... 10 pixels okay so this does that and then somehow it creates the code that you need to paste into your page I suppose okay nice okay cool and then if I do reset or if I close this all editors disabled edit CSS devices okay so you have more things here you can also like see layers wow this is really cool then there's a call to action here using demo mode. Get into Pro and turn your design into reality without writing any code. I wonder what that is. Get the lifetime deal. So this call to action is confusing because it's saying I can turn designs into reality. So I click here and I get a subscription to the tool. Subscription. Okay, so this is like the monthly version. This is the lifetime deal. I pay once, I get a code, and I use it for life. Or I can pay monthly five bucks. Say I only need it for a month, because then I'll never touch CSS ever again, right? Everyone's dream. Um, but no, makes sense to get the lifetime deal. All right, so basically all it did, it took me down using that call to action while I was in demo mode. It removed me from demo mode, and then it puts me down in the pricing stage. Okay, no. How do I reset the page now? I want to... Okay, let's uh, refresh the page. And it took me down there. Okay, here we go. All right, we're back. We deleted all the weird border I had added and reset the page. So, okay, so the demo is very... Um, it's deep, right? There's a lot of stuff going on. It's easy as one, two, three. Here's how it works. Style it visually. Make any design a reality with Intab's visual CSS editor. Any design. That's kind of... It's not really the, the point, right? Like It's not a design. You're, you're just editing CSS. So technically, you're just 
anything what's already on your page, but can you actually add stuff that isn't there? Because then I'm not making a design, I'm just edit. Uh, I'm editing CSS, I'm changing how the behavior of a certain page looks. Make responsive, fix responsiveness across 20 virtual devices. Cool, that's another feature I haven't seen yet, but, and then obviously, yeah, you can export the code, and uh, it allows you to basically paste it into your editor of choice, which is pretty nice. That's awesome. And then prototype designs visually. So here you're, so you're styling it. This is like a use case. You're like styling the element using the visual editor. How does that work? Okay. Oh yeah, right. So just like how I did it. And you're like, okay, change this, change that. It's designer friendly. There's a lot of CSS properties. You have another call to action here. All right. Create responsive UIs fast. So basically you're here, you're trying to upsell the fact that using this tool, you can preview, you can emulate previewing your website in different uh, viewports, right? Uh, debug CSS like a pro. So if you have issues, it gives you like the insight. So basically this is like Chrome dev tool, but Maybe like a nicer UI and a little bit cleaner, right? Okay. Sounds so far, it's a it's a useful tool for front end uh, front end developers who spend a lot of time, you know, getting those pixel perfect um, designs to uh, to the, to the browser and across various devices. And then here, there's more, even more features. You have okay, very cool usage of some popovers here. Visual breakpoints. If I click it. Nothing happens, but I can visualize media queries, x-ray mode, I can resize it. So I guess the reason you did this, which although it's hard to see on my 4K screen, but I guess I would make it so that you could like click this and like see it like full screen. Like this animation seems nice, but I don't really see what's going on. I mean, this is obviously code editor. Maybe like this one is a little bit less obvious. What's going on here? X-ray mode like a real x-ray machine, but for pages. So you're highlighting different things, okay. So as you can see, because the thumbnails are so small, it, it takes a while. So people might be like, uh, okay, you know, they, they maybe skip off the, all of this. This here, this button here, it's amazing as a product perspective, because you're showing your customers what you're gonna be building, but it's, you know, I can hardly see this button. You know, the the if, if you like squint your eyes a little bit, the the things that you see the most in this page is like the blue button at the top and then this cards, right? And then this big text. Okay. So it's less expensive than uh, some other. So you're basically comparing. Okay, good. Comparison table. You're cheap. It's a one-time lifetime deal. I don't have to pay whatever these other tools cost. It works in all browsers, so you shouldn't worry, I guess. So does that mean one license can be used across all of these browsers or is it one license per browser? And here's the cool, um, you know, how many browsers do you need? Like, how, do you have five employees? Then you spend 21 a month or you get, you get it for life. Five employees, it's only $119. It's interesting that you want to give these two options. I would just work... Uh, like right now, you say this lifetime deal is limited. So maybe just show this one. Let people buy like a one time 39 bucks. You're giving too much choice, right? And then you're saying, you, okay, you're using Paddle, right? Cool. So what happens if I press this button? Do I get to pay or do I get to install? Let's see. I get to, no one knows. Check out. Okay, I get to pay. So user add example dot com where am i located yep downtown austin and then i can pay by card and paypal and all that okay so it is the checkout after all so here the, the call to action is is ambiguous right it's not install extension is purchase okay will i get lifetime updates yeah this is nice it's animated it's sleek because it's fast, right? Like I click, I read, it's only two lines. There's not a lot to read. Money back guarantee. You don't like it, you get it back. Call to action again, install extension. 
Okay, that took me to another part of the page. What? Oh, okay, that was weird, right? You all saw that. That's videotaped. So how did that work? It took me like here. Oh, I don't know. And then I... Okay, very nice. The design is nice. Okay. All right. This is the first part of the video. And then this... You have a very nice footer. Uh, roadmap, change log, freebies. You're hiring folks. That's awesome. There's a chat at, at the, on the left. There's a badge on the right. And there's another weird little email badge here that follows me throughout the page. So... This is uh, this is not so good, right? Do you have too much stuff that follows me around? You have the top area, you have the bottom area that keeps going. I guess I can X out of it. There you go. And then, okay, so let's talk a little bit about this page. I don't know who is behind this company. There's no menu at the top. There's no about page. There is no testimonial. There are no testimonials. Are there testimonials that I skipped? There's one testimonial here. Andreas li Little. Okay, so at least. Okay, so the testimonial. Let's talk about this. The testimonial location is probably not the best yet because at that point, I still haven't scrolled through the page. I don't know. What am I reading? Like, a very helpful tool for visually designing your CSS. I must say, if you're serious about front end. Okay, so it's nice that you added here, but. I was expecting testimonials to kind of be like coming around this area and say, you know, the, I've been using this tool for like two months and I can't ever go back, right? Because at that point, you know what the tool does. You've tested it. If you And you've moved throughout, you know, the page to explore the tool. So it makes sense that the testimonial don't come like straight here where it's like, Okay, this tool is kind of complicated. So if I don't test it, if I don't click live demo, this testimonial will make no sense. Instead, if I don't click, the testimonial should appear down here, right? Somewhere. Should be, could be also around the pricing page. Um, and then in the footer, I would definitely add stuff like, like, who are you? And who's making this? Is this one team? Is this one person? How did you come up with the idea? Those are definitely like things that you want to add. Um, so, but I like the design. Okay, so going back, let's talk about it. Design-wise, it's very well made. It's clean. It's minimalistic, I would call, uh, except for this, like you know, like footer thing that's following me around. Everything seems pretty nice. The only downside was, like I mentioned, maybe the demo video or gifs whatever these are they're too small and i was explaining i could click it and see like maybe the feature in like more details and how you know so, some use cases like when do i use this when do i use that so maybe you can create more pages that people can click on and see basically the feature in more details um this is amazing you have data points that show that it's it's the tool that people should use but not enough testimonials and I found the pricing kind of confusing because why can I just get it for a month when there's a lifetime deal? Like, that makes so much sense, right? Unless you're really, really broke. Plus, you get lifetime money. I mean, you get the money back guarantee here, which you didn't mention here. You didn't say, oh, subscription, if you don't like it, I'll refund you. So that's that. How can you improve? Let's talk about the last thing. How can you improve um, conversion on this page? Well, to improve conversion, what people usually do is, uh, well, they do a lot of things. First of all, they add videos. So you have a video. That's already, you know, you have the tour. And I didn't even know I could, I didn't even click that. But there you go. See, like I was, I, la I launched myself directly into the demo. Then I got kind of sidetracked trying the demo out and I was like oh that's pretty cool but then I was like what are the pain points that you're trying to solve right so in the in the first thing you need to do is the headline right what's the benefit what's the benefit of using this tool it's basically immediately see the results over any CSS change on your page it's that's the benefit 
it's not that you're styling website because I can style website with any other tool, even like Notepad, right? And the H2 visually style any website in your browser without time missing. It says that explains better than your headline, which is kind of fun. Um, the call to action, it doesn't have a benefit. You're just saying install it. And then there is no risk reversal in the call to action because it bounces me down here. It doesn't say money back guarantee. It doesn't say you're in good hands or like uh, tons of other people have installed it. Like, you know, maybe 15,000 downloads already happened. People purchased it, like that kind of stuff. Then here you're talking about how it works. You're not talking about me, me, the consumer. You're not talking about the benefits. You're talking about the features or like the how to. And usually no one really does that because what they first introduce is the problem and the benefits of using your tool. Um, so I think you're giving way too much space to like this, unless, unless you talk to an enough customer where you're thinking this is definitely the way to go. And you, you know, like having this feature highlighted amongst all the other ones, maybe that's the way, I mean, I don't know that I'm not the product manager on your tool, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, you need to be a little bit more mindful about the way that you've set up your page and, uh, and yeah, look at, at, the, at, at this, like this little tabs there. What happens if I click them? It la launches the tool again. No, if I click here, there's the chat button. Maybe you should just have one, one of the two, right? Don't have both. Because otherwise people get confused and they click. What you want to do is focus on people purchasing your tool. And to do that, again, focus on the, f on, the, on, the, on the issues that they have as customers. So basically go out there, talk to the people that already installed your tool and try to narrow down what is the biggest pain point that you're solving for them. And I assume it'll be probably something like um, maybe they use it during screen sharing sessions with other people on, on their team. And, and maybe that's the way you should go. Who knows, right? Anyways, I think I've spoken a lot about this. Um, this is definitely my comeback video. I hope you've enjoyed this pretty long teardown advice video. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.